Rotational shot, it's really the way of the future. It's what every single thrower at the World Championship utilized as a technique. So we're gonna talk about the five biggest mistakes in 2019. Are you making any of these? Let's find out in this video, so check it out. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airte Throws Nation, and in this video, we're going to talk about the top five distance killing mistakes that we saw in 2019 for mostly young throwers, and that means coaches need to be helping these young throwers, and young throwers need to be learning what these things are. Let's start with item number five. The thing that we saw the most common is that when people start to rotate and learn the shot, they wind the shot, and we don't necessarily wind the shot back. We want to be thinking about creating the path that the shot is going to follow and you're going to do that with the left side but here's what you can see the difference if i set the path this way and i wind out here you can see how i'm coming in it's, a lot of kids do is twist and twist and so by winding the shot they do that here in the power position when they take stand throws they wind the shot back and what you'll see from this angle is that as i wind the shot i pull my hips back you need to be winding the shoulders around the lower body and that's about creating proper separation we just recently did a video on separation but that's one of the things don't wind the shot wind the opposite side so the number four thing that we saw in the rotational shot is finishing and not rotating the hips into the toe board or into the sector so we can push against the ball like this what we see is too many people stopping the hips and punching like this and what we want to understand is how we actually engage the block and have the delivery side coming through. One of the big mistakes is throwers coming out, like you said, is they come here and then they just think, I gotta hit, and they're moving forward too early instead of rotating the delivery side through and punching this way to get that nice big rotation and extension over the toe board. So the number three thing that we saw that was most common is not understanding how to rewrap. Many throwers, the problem you have when you're throwing the discus or the shot, they start throwing one like the other. And what we tend to see with a lot of our shot putters is the rewrap is incorrect. So it's either too early or it just doesn't seem to really happen. So again, we want to avoid that we're, make sure that we're not too open and that's going to just create too much shift off and what we're going to see is we want to make sure that we don't wrap too early we see a lot of people doing this and then they're wrapping and you're going to notice that cuts me off and i can't i can't rotate around quite as dynamically there's a sweet spot and if you look at the number three four and five guys in world history throw they were all rotational throwers and again you saw that they all have very similar wrap styles and they all have very different krauser kovac and tom walsh all have different throwing styles but mechanically re-wrap is very similar amongst the three so the number two thing that we saw the most frequently throughout the year when i'm dealing with a lot of young throwers is that they will throw closed and they'll hold their arm and they turn like this now if you look at some people would argue that it Perry from the NCAA champion this year that he did some of that stuff and if you look really carefully he has a style and he comes in but you're gonna notice he gets that arm open he creates a ton of speed he's a great technician and he has a style that is really really effective for him but what we see a lot of kids is doing they're actually turning like this and so they're not getting the proper action of opening the arm and not the shoulder that's the key and so throwing close if you start here and you try to throw close you're gonna shift off your delivery side and that's gonna cause you to lose a lot of power and you're not gonna get as much separation. So we would say learn how to open the arm properly without opening the shoulder, something we talked about in the discus, but that throwing closed motion is a little bit more common because you have the shot here. Again, so when you combine some of the things we talked about with winding and holding the arm, that's where you really start to see that closed motion and it really affects the ability to create speed in the throw. Okay, so if you guessed from watching our previous, our discus mistakes and our glide mistakes, you're gonna guess what was number one? Setting up incorrectly, right? You're failing to set up a chain reaction. And we see so many throwers doing so many different things and we see this type of thing and we'll see the arm folding across and too far of a wind and they're losing separation. Or what we're gonna see is when they set up and you're watching videos of guys bending over, what they'll do is they'll actually push the hips too far 
and they're here, they're not actually paying attention to the path of the knees and the shoulders and having that connection that gets you around. Again, if you look at the top four guys in the world this year, you're gonna notice what I said. It's the knees are on top of the toes and the shoulders over the knees. A real simple tip, how do we train all these positions? That's what we have inside the throwing chain reaction system. Yes, again, the goal is to help more people focus on the right things instead of spending a lot of times just trying to piece it together. We put these videos together so that we create clear understanding of what you should be doing and then how do you break it down and how do you apply drills and how do you train positions and how do you connect all the positions so that you have the right rhythm, timing, so that you put together one fluid motion that's going to create continual acceleration until the release of the implement. That's what the system's all about. But check out our free mini course. Comment below on something else you'd like to see. Any feedback if this all made sense. Thanks so much for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and we will see you on the next video. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtate Throws Nation. In today's video, what we're gonna talk about is focusing on one thing to fix five. Now, 